610 calories. I want all these calories. Today I'm reviewing Factor Meals Week 4 and what I think, I have 9 different meals that I've never had before. I thought I had one of them before but it was brand new to me. Yeah, if you want to find out more, just keep watching. Alright, this is meal number 1 of week 4. Comes with a crema, I need to pour that on really quick. That's what it looks like. It's, um, give me a second. So I have the spicy chorizo and purple potato bowl. Can you read that? A little out of focus. 490 calories, 29 grams fat, 34 grams carbs, and 23 grams of protein. It has ancho chile lime crema and Mexican style veggies. Sounds good. It's funny because like a lot of these dishes is basically all the same ingredients. <laughs> I love it. It's so zesty. And the potatoes, oh my gosh. They're not like super soft, but the fact that I'm finally getting a potato that's like this, it's very satisfying. I've been craving potatoes in this style. The chorizo isn't as flavorful as like the chorizo chili. There's some spice in here. I did taste the green onions. There's some green onions in here. I do get the sweetness. So there is some cinnamon. I just looked in the ingredients. There is some cinnamon here and I do taste it. it this is a really good dish. It's honestly, this is a five out of five for me because it's just so good. Mm. Let me take that back. I gotta try the veggies. There's zucchini, corn, tomato, onion, garlic. I don't know what else, but this is good. Some kind of jalapeno, I'm guessing. I don't know. I think the onions are what, what's making it spicy. But again, five out of five. Okay, next meal for week four is Parmesan crusted chicken, 540 calories, 29 grams fat, 26 grams carbs, and 44 grams protein. It's with spinach, white beans, and Italian style veggies. This is what it looks like. There's actually green beans in there, and technically I'm allergic. Technically allergic to just beans in general, so the white beans too, but whatever. I'm not that bad. Like, my allergy is not that bad. I might just get a massive migraine on top of the one that I already have. So we're just going to deal with it. And yeah, hopefully it tastes really good. I'm telling you guys, they really love garlic. All I taste is garlic. This is really good to me though. Veggies are really good. Chicken with some spinach and the white bean. Mm, the chicken doesn't really give much. There's not a lot of flavor. I wish the Parmesan was like more flavorful in it. Maybe I should mix it more. This dish is a 3.8 out of 5 just because the chicken is a little bit more bland than I'd like. The veggies add a lot of flavor though. <laughs> surprisingly. I guess not surprisingly. Vegetables are really yummy if they're cooked. The beans are, you know, beans. Beans are good still, but not much flavor. Yeah, 3.8 out of 5. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow with the next two meals. Alright, it is, what, meal three? Yeah, meal three. And I have Peruvian shredded. I have Peruvian shredded chicken thighs with rice, beans, slaw, and pot with rice, be With rice and beans, slaw, and poblano, and tomatillo salsa. That's the salsa right here. Ooh, I hope I'm really, really enjoying these Peruvian meals. It has 620 calories, 31 grams fat, 49 grams carbs, and 36 grams protein. So it has the little beans in it again, but that's no problem. So this is what it looks like. Got the chicken, the rice. Um, I think the bones were removed. And then I got some sauce right here. The sauce is a little bit sweet, spicy. I'm all for that. 620 calories. I want all these calories. I could have heated it up more. To be honest, I wish I had more salsa. And this rice is a little undercooked. Like, it's so, too crunchy. Feels like it wasn't cooked long enough. Not even that it was cold. It's just, like, super dry. Based on that, this dish is a 3 out of 5. Flavor is there. I wish there was more salsa. And I wasn't, I wish it wasn't as dry. Uh, technically, you're supposed to add water to here. So that might add, 
that might be why it's so dry so next time i will do that yeah maybe i'll review this again regarding the flavor profile the tomatillo is sweet a little bit a little bit of heat it's more i don't know it's hard to explain i taste the cilantro i really love the chicken it's like well seasoned let's try the slaw i was about to give you a review without reviewing the slaw Mm, I feel like the slaw would have been better cold. Maybe remove the slaw and the cup. Put some water in here, then bake it. I don't know. Warm slaw is just not for me. It's like there's... You can taste the mayo. It feels heavy with, like, olive oil. Yeah. I want to redo this. This didn't feel like I did it right. Yeah. Three out of five still. Hey, everyone. It's me, Lauren, and... Today I have chile braised shredded pork, the macros, 490 calories, 41 grams fat, 10 grams carbs, and 26 grams protein, cabbage pepper medley, roasted zucchini, and chimichurri aioli. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's a little, um, I don't know, dull looking because I did not bake it this time. I need to clean my air fryer. My air fryer is like super, super grimy. And if you noticed, I put water in the little portion right here. Just gonna let that little float, little thing float. It might be a little distraction. It's distracting though. Okay, let's taste this. Mmm, that is really good. Wow, that aioli. The cabbage, oh my gosh. This is bursting with flavor. Only 490 calories. The zucchini is crunchy. I like that. Because this is mushy. The zucchini is spicy. There must be some like, chili flakes in there. Yep. And then this is like a little bit sweet. Hmm. This is really good. The chimichurri tastes like mayo. Um, I taste the green onion. But it's not too oniony. Oh, man, this dish is really good. A little bit of garlic there's some sweetness to it i do taste the lime chipotle chile powder rosemary sage and basil there's like other herbs in here i'm trying to figure out what's making it taste so sweet though because this is a really good dish this is like um if i heated it up longer it'd even be better this is a five out of five mm. i haven't had a pork dish this good highly recommend this one again it's the chile braised shredded pork Okay, it's dinner time. I just migrated this again because I'm currently cleaning my air fryer. Today I'm having homestyle beef and chai potato mash with broccoli and carrot coins. Two of my least favorite vegetables, but as long as they're cooked, I'm happy. Actually, I love broccoli raw, to be honest. I'd rather eat broccoli raw than cooked. I know, I'm weird. Okay, anyways, 500 calories, 27 grams fat, 39 grams carbs, and 26 grams protein. This is what it looks like. Look at that. Nice and bright. It's very colorful. It actually looks more appetizing because it's colorful. And I see the green onions. I love green onions. I love them. I love potatoes. So I'm excited for that. For real though. Let's try this. Carrots. Mm-hmm. That's what's actually really good. I love cooked carrots. It's like sweet, garlicky. These are delicious. This meal is just like blowing me out the water right now. Mmm. So good. The best beef dish that I've had. The best. I taste the chives. The potatoes are like perfectly buttery or like, you know what I mean? They're, they're so smooth and silky. They're not dry. And the chives in them, oh, so good. This meal is definitely a five out of five. Veal bones, reduced brown stock base made with veal. Wow, maybe that's why it's so good. This is a really good dish. Cabernet Sauvignon wine. This dish is like my ultimate favorite to be honest. Just the flavor from everything, the carrots, the broccoli, the beef, the potatoes, they all have flavor. I don't have to like mix anything. They're well balanced. It's not too salty. And yeah, I just really love this dish, you guys. This is so good. I just wanna savor every single bite. This is so good. And I microwaved it. Surprisingly, it's really good microwave. All right, so I just had Nick try it, and he thinks I'm selling it too much. He doesn't think it's as good. He, th he said it's okay. And I think I'm, I'm just biased because I really love onions, and I really love garlic. And the fact that I don't really like 
broccoli cooked and I like this it just upped it for me so because he loves broccoli it might have just like been like eh whatever but he loves broccoli usually so yeah just take my review with a grain of salt on this one making me second guess myself also there was celery in the potatoes and I love celery so that also won my heart over okay we got bulgogi beef bowl bulgogi beef bowl with edamame rice bok choy carrots and cabbage 610 calories 31 grams fat 54 grams carbs and 32 grams protein there's the ingredients all the good stuff and this is what it looks like it smells really good technically i'm allergic to edamame but it only if i eat a lot of it so yeah oh this is really flavorful it's like a little sour but the flavor kind of fades away. I wonder why. They probably don't use real sugar. They use honey. And that's like the only source of sugar in here. Yeah. So there is some vinegar in here. I can taste the vinegar. It's not spicy. But it's still really good. I like the, the mixture of the vegetables in here. This is a 4.8 out of 5. It's weird to me that they use ground beef rather than like bulgogi beef. Which is usually steak. I think they... What do they use for bulgogi? I don't know. It's not usually ground beef though. So this is a little weird to me. So that's why I gave it a little bit of a lower rating too easy for me to eat. I want to be able to slow down and chew. I don't know. Tasting profiles, mostly just sour. They have some ginger in here, which is really good. I taste the ginger. I love ginger. So yeah, I just love everything. As you can tell, I always say I love ginger. I love spice. I love sour. I love vinegar. I just love it all. Yep. Okay. That's all I have to say about this one. I'll see you guys tomorrow with the next meals. Hey everyone, I have cheesy bacon ranch shredded chicken with portobello's and garlic broccoli 650 calories 45 grams fat 15 grams carbs and 47 grams protein this again is a keto dish with 12 net carbs so this is the meal looks very yummy cheesy chicken portobello mushrooms some broccoli green onions looks like there's some bacon bits yeah oh yeah it says cheesy bacon duh duh lauren okay mix it and then see what it tastes like Ooh, look at that cheesiness that is very pretty the bacon mixed in Let's see if i can notice anything else it smells really good i love the smell of bacon mm, very flavorful this is a really good dish very flavorful I'm cheesy bacony it's not too heavy with the bacon enough seasoning it's not too salty which i love that Let's try the broccoli i should have started off with the broccoli because i'm not really tasting the garlic in it Okay, let's try the mushrooms. Mmm. Yep. Really good. Oh my gosh. This dish. If you love mushrooms, if you love broccoli, and if you love bacon and chicken and cheese, this is a 5 out of 5. Highly recommend. Mmm. Cheesy broccoli? That sounds yummy. I don't know about you, but I love cheesy broccoli. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Reminds me of, like, one of those breakfast items with, like, bacon and cheese and... I don't know. Yeah. It, it's so good. This would be really good with like a chicken inside of a chicken bake sandwich. I guess it's similar other than the bacon. But yeah, five out of five for me. Highly recommend this amazing dish. All right, I'll see you guys later with the next dish. All right, we got the Cheeto, Cheeto. <laughs> Thinking about Cheetos right now. We got the Keto Chorizo Chili, 600 calories. Let me back this up a little bit more. 600 calories, 44 grams fat, 14 grams carbs, and 36 grams protein with shredded cheese and scallion sour cream. So this is very similar to another bowl that I've had. I don't remember which one it was, but let's try this. It's actually in one of the, you know, those cups that has a lid. I actually like this better. So much easier to open, not popping on me. Yeah, you know how many times I've gotten sauce on me? It's like so annoying. It never ends. But this is nice. So this is what it looks like. There's a little bit of water in there. I microwaved it. Cheesy bell pepper taste. Chorizo. Tastes like a chili. Less like um, the other dishes that I've had with chorizo. Sweet. Yeah, there's cinnamon in here. Didn't taste the cinnamon. I feel like I've already reviewed this one. I don't know. Maybe I have. But yeah, this is a really good dish. I wish I left had eaten it faster. It was sitting out for a little bit. Because I was taking care of something. Mm-hmm. This is a 5 out of 5 dish because the chorizo is very flavorful. I love the cheese that goes on top. Oh yeah, let's get that all up on there. 
I like that I microwaved it because the cheese is less burnt. Because when I usually bake it, the cheese is more burnt. So it's more stuff here and it's more crispy. I mean, I don't hate that either. Um, but it's nice that I can actually put it on top of my dish. Even though it's still stuck together. I'm telling you, one day I'll just sprinkle it on top. But I kind of like the way it melts like this. And I can't eat it. Yeah, this is so good. Five out of five. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Just got done working out. Time to eat my lunch. I have shredded chicken and pesto ricotta with tomatoes and bacon creamed spinach. 620 calories, 45 grams fat, 14 grams carbs, and 41 grams protein. 11 net carbs. So this is what it looks like. Juicy. I microwaved it because I still am waiting for my steamer so I can clean my Ninja Foodie. I would highly recommend a Ninja Foodie. Foodie. A Ninja Foodie if you don't have one. Um, but let's try this really quick. Start off with the veggies. You can see spinach, tomatoes, onions, smells like garlic. Oh, this is good. Mm -hmm. With the little bacon bits. Oh, this is good. That's really good. Okay, try this. I roasted. Oh, look at the ricotta cheese. Mmm. Really good dish. I love the ricotta in here. Adds a lot of flavor. Makes it creamy. And the tomatoes, like, just are roasted, pop in your mouth. I've been going really easy on these dishes this week. I've been giving a lot of five out of fives. So just because I need to stay consistent, this is a 4.7 out of five. I'm not gonna go easy. I need to be consistent like before. This is a really good dish. I really love the spinach. I love the creaminess of the cheese and the chicken. The cheese adds a lot of flavor to it, that um, like a milky flavor, a creamy flavor, cheesy flavor, and it just balances really well. Yeah, this is a 4.7 out of five. I love that it can taste the bacon in here ever so slightly, it's not overpowering. Also, the garlic isn't overpowering, but just be mindful if you, again, don't like garlic. A lot of these dishes have lots of garlic and onions. Hey everyone, I hope you found this valuable. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video, comment down below which one you're excited to try, or maybe recommend a new one to me, and subscribe so that way you can see week five, which I am uploading soon. Thank you again for supporting, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.